We don't really care about what the reviews say. You get a bunch of angry kids on the internet talking shit about your band, but your venue's full of people having a great time and enjoying themselves. I care about those people. I don't care about the guy sitting at his computer, what he thinks, because he listens to Black Dahlia Murder and thinks my band's stupid. Like, I don't care that, you know, like we're not competing with another band that might be heavier or more metal than us. We're just us. You don't have to like us. I, I know have- a lot of people who don't like Justin Timberlake, but that motherfucker is still really happy. Define the Great Line sold 100,000 copies in a week. So for me, the, the fans spoke for that record. You know, they spoke for it in the sense that they loved it immediately to almost put us number one on the Billboard top 40, which for a heavy band at the time was never happened, never happened before. To be in the, we were number two. To be that high was such a huge deal for us that all of the haters, we didn't, they were so blocked out by the love that we were feeling from everyone else. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it's like the way you surround your, yourself in life. Like, you wouldn't surround yourself with a bunch of people that didn't like you and thought that you were dumb or thought that you were cheesy or whatever. Like, I think that bands that pay attention to what everyone else is saying, are, they're like, it's like a drug, man. You're going to go down a, a dark, dark spiral trying to read all that stuff. Even, like, the good reviews, that'll blow your head up, and then you'll be walking around the cocky asshole. So it's like, you just yeah, you can't. do it because you love it. Don't really pay attention to what people say, and, you know, you just... If you're happy, then that's okay. Like I, we were saying earlier, the, the, re- the recording process of Under Oath is, is so uh, in-depth and hard as it is that I don't really care what anyone thinks. As long as me and my five friends, six including myself, are happy with it, then that's that's great. You're allowed to hate something if you hate it. I mean, yeah, totally. you know what I mean? I can still say hello to you. I don't care. Like, if you hate something, you hate it. It doesn't matter. He hates the new 1975 record. I think it's brilliant. <laughs>